On today's fixing bugs and stuff, we're gonna take off the heater channel. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you the equipment that I'm using to cut out the heater channel and it's, it's pretty basic. First, uh, safety, of course, uh, have gloves when you start using uh, grinding metal or anything like that. And also when you're grinding metal, you wanna protect your face, face shield, uh, protect your lungs with, uh, with a mask. And I use the screwdriver to kind of pick at some spot welds that get kind of stuck in between two sheets of metal. Uh, then I also pry it out with this guy as well. You can get this stuff from Harbor Freight if you need to. I use a Dremel uh, actually to cut into the welds. It's a lot better than, to me, it's a lot better than using a uh, cutting wheel on a grinder because it's kind of hard to control. Um, I use this uh, pyramid bit here to uh, remove the spot welds. I try to use a spot weld cutter in the past. It doesn't really work that great. This seems a lot easier and quicker. Uh, pliers just to pull the sheet metal back. Um, I only use the grinder to remove paint so I can expose the spot welds. And then I have a sawzall here that I use just in two places to cut out the heater channel. And I'll show you that later on. But uh, I forgot to show you what I'm using. Some people use like a plasma cutter. Uh, cutting torch. Some people use the cutting wheel the whole time. Um, to me, it's to me. It's for me. It's too barbaric. Uh, I like to have a little bit of finesse. So anyway, uh, this is the equipment that I'm using, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, first you want to expose um, all of the spot welds. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's some indentation here showing the spot welds. They're all along here. They're up a little further too. So we're gonna take um, the grinder, which has a paint remover, you know, this guy here. It'll start, um, I think this is from Blue Hawk. It's a four and a half inch disc. Uh, it's meant to take off paint. And that's what we're gonna do, take off this coating here. I mean, most of it's starting to peel off anyway. So it should be easy to take off and then it will show the uh, spot welds. So um, let's do that now. Okay, as you can see, uh, after grinding, you see these spot welds here. Take that off. It's a little bit of rust here. It's like a rusted through them, I have to replace that area. So the spot welds down here, up here. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the, the drill bit that I showed you earlier, that little pyramid bit, and we're gonna start drilling through the spot welds. One about 11 30 seconds to 3 8 uh, your average um, spot weld color is about 3 8 in diameter so if you go in between that on your bit you should be fine all these holes you want to spot weld again the new heater channel that's the best way to do it instead of cutting all this out which is still good metal um, this is the best way that I can think of that I've done in the past it's worked for me. I'm not gonna sit here and record the whole thing. It'd be kind of boring for you guys. So let me drill these out and uh, we'll take a look. Okay, so I drill out all the, the uh, spot welds here. You can see that all through. Seems like a lot, but it goes pretty quick. Um, I can show you with this tool. I mean, it's just a flathead screwdriver. Start picking at it a little bit. And here, this is coming out. 
give you an idea. Oops, I don't want to jerk you around too much, but separate it from the body a little bit at a time. Kind of wiggle it in there, like that. And then take the other tool, this wedge here, you start prying it um, a little bit, get it out. And if it's rusted, uh, you would you fall apart. But this is not really rusted, so. Just work at it until it comes out. It may snap as you do it. But you can see how it's coming apart here. And don't worry about bending the sheet metal. You can always bend it back. Um, it's not gonna break off. It has to be continuous, bending back and forth for, for it to break. So it's separating from here. So we're gonna continue on. I'm not gonna sit here and bore you with uh, me prying this out. Okay, you can see here, I was able to knock out or pull the sheet metal away. Um, it's a way about an eighth to a quarter of an inch. So it's it's loose. You can see it's loose. So that's that's good enough for the for the heater channel removal. There's more um, spot welds on the inside of the car that we'll go to next. Um, but as far as the heater channel goes, right here in this front section is what I'm look, focusing on for the spot welds. Okay, now we move to the inside of the heater channel, as you can see here. Uh, I do want to point out that this little um, sheet metal piece is meant for a slider here. What happens is as the heat is on, of course, air comes out of here. Hot air is supposed to come out of here. And there's a slider here that you close and it stops the air from coming through and then it channels the air to go up this column here all the way up into your defroster now um of course anybody who owns a volkswagen defrosters don't work that great so i'm thinking about not putting this back on the new heater channel when i get it that'll be the next step cleaning up the paint off of this and taking off the body sealer and then moving on to cutting out the rest of this See here, I pry it off. It's separated here, so it's not connected anymore. That's from drilling out the spot welds. Normally, this wouldn't be all chopped up like this, but it's been rusting out from the inside out. That's a typical for heater channels in the northeast area. They rust from the inside out, which is terrible. I'm gonna clean this area. I'm not going to go any further than this because I have to get rid of that weld seam. But if this was excellent metal, which this part is, it's not bad. I can definitely still use that, that part of the metal. So when I put the new heater channel back on, that'll definitely work.
Okay, we're at this point where we got the spot welds off the inside of the front area here. This is all loose. These are up. And normally, if this was all good, I wouldn't have drilled these so so deep. But uh, I'm going to have to replace a lot of this firewall because it's kind of busted out. And then on this side, there are two spot welds here that you can see that I drilled out. This metal is still good. This metal is really good. Still good. So I'll bang that back into place. No problems. Uh, the next step will be to cut with your sawzall here as close to this pillar, door pillar, as you can. And then cut the other side, which will be this door pillar here. We'll cut it close to this door side of the door pillar. But um, there are more um, spot welds on this side. If you see right there where the sealant is, there's spot welds in that area as well. So let's get to that. So I need to remove this piece here of this duct work and it's grinded or it actually it's welded here and it's welded here. So I gotta grind that off so I can take this out. So that's what I'll do next. Pop it off. <laughs> Knock that one loose. Okay, let's see if I can pull this out. There we go. Got it loose. So it's time for me to take this out. Got the welds uh, off on that guy, off on that guy. So the way this comes out, you push it in that direction, and then you go up with it. And I'll show you why you do. So we'll push it like that. Then you go up with it, and then come towards you as well. And then wiggle it out, and that's it. And the reason being is because it has like this little cup here. So going down with it is not going to work. But if you go up with it and then go towards you, it should come right out. I removed a lot of the body uh, sealer. It came out pretty easily. I don't know, the person, whoever was in charge of the body sealer, whoever made this car, must have had a plentiful amount because it's everywhere and it's on thick. And it's in places that are really too thick. I mean, you can see it here. It's just kind of ridiculous. But anyway, it comes off pretty good since it's old. And you can see the um, spot welds here. There's one there, there's one there. Um, what you do is you grind it and it reveals the spot welds. There's another one there, there's another one there, another one there. And another one here, but you can see there is a like a gold or it's brass, whatever it was. The owner before me, or whoever did it, patched up the heater channel in the worst way you can imagine. They use all kinds of metals. As you can see, if this is shiny gold like this, they use some kind of, um, I guess, a flux with a rod. To do some work so I gotta not get that out um, this is also welded here I'm not sure if that's done by the factory on top of this tube here uh, and then I have to cut this out too so first things first we're gonna take out these spot welds okay remove the sheet metal um, from the heater channel on this side same technique we used before, same drill bit, same um, tools. Again, I 
pry this out with the screwdriver little by little. And then I use the pry bar to get out the rest of it, which is pretty simple. Once I start doing that, start popping away. As you can see, the, the heater channel's moving with it. Um, these, like I said before, they were done with some kind of filler, filler rod. I don't know what it is, but I drilled them out. I drilled them out and it seemed to be okay. Plain metal here to spot weld onto the new heater channel. It's all good. So after that, um, on to the other side. Okay, on the other side, this will be the last of the spot welds. Luckily, they didn't do anything crazy here. I can see the spot welds on the quarter panel here, which is great. So what I'll do is I'll grind them back a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if that's the original metal here or not. I'm not sure. Looks too good to be true, but hey, looks like it might be. Anyway, I'm gonna grind these back so you can see the spot welds, and then I will drill through them. Okay, like before, we did drill out the spot welds. Um, this is pretty rotten as it is. Uh, drilling out the spot welds, it just went right through. Some parts, most parts it did. Then I separated with this guy, and like we did before, used the wedge to get it out. As you can see, it's pretty rotten. But this doesn't look too bad, it's pretty good. Of course, this is nasty, so I gotta figure that out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna replace uh, this quarter panel from here down. I haven't decided yet what I'm gonna do, or make some metal right here. But we'll see. But uh, this video is just about getting out the uh, heater channel the best way you can. Uh, I think this is my approach. Okay, we're about to cut um, the heater channel in this area here with the sawzall, and then we're gonna cut it on the other side here. So I'll show you how that's uh, gotta be done and why. Um, you wanna cut it as close as possible to this post here, and same as the other side, you wanna cut as close to, as possible to the post as well. And then we'll go use the Dremel to uh, cut out some welds and remove the rest of this heater channel. Okay, we're gonna get started here. We use a sawzall. Um, make sure you put a like a new decent blade on it before you start using it. And uh, try not to use the short blade. The short blade will actually it'll cut, but then it'll start hitting the inside of the heater channel here and doesn't cut very well. So use a longer blade for this so it reaches all the way across the uh, heater channel here, and then cut your way through. So it should take about, uh, about a minute. So here we go. I forgot, be sure to uh, you support your your door if it's still attached. I support it with a, a piece of wood and then I use the jack. You can see it or not. I use the jack to hold it in place. So before I continue on, I forgot to add that. Uh, definitely support your door because this will uh, make the structure uh, really weak. So your door will, will actually dip further than what it is already. So definitely support it.
Sorry about that. I kicked you guys around. It went right through. So that was less than a minute to cut that through. And now we're gonna hit the other side. Okay, same deal on this side. Get close to the post here. Uh, I used, I'm using the same blade as before. And we're gonna cut right through this guy. Okay, it's out on the ground. Um, see all that rust, dust. It's on the ground there. Uh, I'm gonna flip it over so you can take a look. It's really nasty. It's done for. Um, let's see here. That's done for. So, um, that's out. Next step will be to uh, cut away the welds in this area and also cut away the wells on the other area so that will be next so first i'm going to cut away these wells here and i'll move along here and i should take off this gasket material um, it's not gasket it's seam sealer take that off and it should pop right down all right so i'm going to use a dremel with a cutoff wheel uh, to cut around these seams here as close as possible and then uh, so I can get this part of the the heated channel out cut all around here and on the side here and basically I cut um, not on the weld I cut in front of the weld here and just along here just to get it loose uh, you don't want to cut on the well. I mean, you can if you want, but it's just, it's just going to take you longer to cut it. So that's where I'm at now. I'm in the process of pulling this out. Just pulling it down here, straight down. And it's becoming loose. If I have to grind anymore, I'll grind anymore. But uh, let's see here. Uh, it's getting there. See what's going on with this guy here. I have a little piece here, it's still on there. I'll grind that off. I got her off. Um, it's kind of, it's all done. It's kind of messed up. This side doesn't, this side doesn't look too bad. Well, never mind. It is bad. Anyway, got her off. So, there's a tube in here. If you're wondering, there's a tube that's for the defroster so I can have to replace this area here you see there's a big hole here I'll have to fix that um, bend some of this metal back uh, this metal looks pretty good doesn't look like it's right it's just surface rust bend it back and then uh, when the new stuff comes in and uh, we shape it and weld it on now it's time for the, to do the rear okay, now I just need to cut along here you can see here on this weld here and uh, down here as well straight across will go above above the weld here and that will be next
Okay, so I got the remainder of the heater channel out. Um, wasn't too bad, just had to do a little bit of cutting. I didn't want to film uh, me just cutting, so you guys get the idea. I'm just cutting a little bit. I used the Dremel uh, instead of the um, instead of the angle grinder. It's, I know the angle grinder is faster, but it seems to me that it's, it's not much of a finesse, a very precise cut. Um, me personally, I get it. I have a habit of cutting too much, so that's why I use the uh, the Dremel for me. So that's it's a little slower, but uh, I don't cut too much metal out. So that's the benefit of it for me. Uh, you guys can use whatever you, you think it's best. Um, anyway, the remaining last of the heater channel, believe it or not, is this guy. The spot well over here and this was the bottom of it so there was nothing left to it anyway pretty bad stuff pretty bad anyway guys just hit me up for any questions um please uh please like subscribe and comment thank you for watching